Hi, it's Mrs. T for Mrs. T Love Life Laughter. I'm participating this week in Mommy Tag 1.0 with Penny from The Real Housewife of Caroline County. Um, this Mommy Tag has 20 questions, and I'm going to answer them now. Number one is, are you a stay-at-home mom or working mom? Um, honestly, I think yes is the answer to both of those questions because I don't know about any of you stay-at-home moms, but... That's also a working mom. Um, I don't have a 9 to 5 job. I guess that's really what the question is um, outside of my home. But I do stay home with my kids every day. And um, I consider that working because I'm up at around 5.30, quarter to 6 to start school runs. And then I'm going until around 10, 10.30 at night um, between picking up from school, housework, playing with the kids, getting homework done, getting dinner done, and then finally laying my own head down. Um, so yeah, I'm a stay at home mom, but I consider that a working mom too. Number two is, would you have it any other way? Um, no, I miss my job sometimes just because I miss the interaction with people on a day to day basis, like adult people. But um, I wouldn't have it any other way because I like being home with my kids and being available for all of their activities and there when they need me and just not missing any of the important moments in their lives. Um, the third question is, do you co-sleep? Um, I honestly didn't realize that's what it was called. We didn't call it that. Uh, my two-year-old still sleeps with us, uh, but... Everybody else has their own rooms. My four-year-old and my six-year-old share a room together. They're the girls. And my 16-year-old obviously has his own room. But my two-year-old is still in our bed. Um, we usually... He's probably going to be moving out really soon. Because usually I cut it off around two, two and a half. Um, number four is one must-have gear for baby. Um, for an infant, I would say it was the Halo sleep sack. The ones that cover their bodies and keep their feet warm. It's kind of like a blankie with arms. I love that thing. Especially because it gets kind of nippy down here at night and in the wintertime. That was a must-have for me. Um, number five, how many kids do you plan on having? I'm done. <laughs> I have four bio, biological children and two stepkids. So that's six total. And I think we're good at six. So I'm done right now. Um, I didn't plan on any set number. I just wanted kids, but I think I'm finished right about now. Um, number six is date night. How many nights per month? We honestly don't get that many date nights. Maybe once a month and sometimes not even. We're trying to get more now that my oldest is a little bit older and we trust him enough to stay with the kids for a couple of hours. But it's usually not a date night. It's daytime and um like I said it's usually around once a month but we're trying to do it a little more often number seven your child's favorite show um I'll start with my oldest we kind of watch the same stuff like we both are history buffs and we like shows that are set like back in historical times recently we just started watching Dracula um he's watched a couple episodes of the White Queen with me I don't think he's that into that one but he introduced me to The Walking Dead and he also loves Dr. Hugh, who, Hugh, Dr. Who, um, and he watches that on Netflix all the time. Um, as far as my six-year-old, she loves Doc McStuffins and Shake It Up Chicago and anything that has music involved in it, she is watching it. But I only let her watch Disney Channel and maybe Nick Jr., so those are her two channels, and she loves pretty much anything on them. My four-year-old, she's more of a Sophia the First princessy type girl, so she loves those shows. And my two-year-old, he's really into Daniel Tiger, that new show, which I think is really cool because I remember Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood when Daniel Tiger was just a puppet. And the fact that they made him a cartoon now, I think is awesome. Um, name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using. I don't think we bought this before we had them. I think we bought it like right after, maybe the day after I had my youngest daughter. We bought one of those double strollers where it's a stroller in the front and the back. That thing was a waste of money because it's ginormous. You can't maneuver it anywhere. If you finally get it out your car and into the store, it doesn't fit down any aisles. So that was a waste of money. And you live and you learn. We knew afterwards and we were able to sell it to somebody else. Um, but I would never get that again. 
Your child's favorite food is question number nine. Um, my oldest, he eats just about anything. <laughs> He's a little picky, like, as in portions. He doesn't eat a lot, which is surprising, being a teenage boy. But he eats often throughout the day. And I don't know what his favorite food would be. I know he loves chicken parm, so I would say chicken parm. Um, my six-year-old, my six, my four, and my two-year-old are very big meat eaters. They love bacon and sausage. They just finished eating, like, a whole plate full of sausage and bacon. So I raise carnivores, definitely. And they really love meat. Um... Number 10 is how many cars does your family have? We have two. My husband has an F-150 and I have um, an Infiniti QX. I think it's a 56, but it's a truck. Um, I got it mainly because it had the three row seats and I specified that I had to have three row seating and I wanted the second row to be a full row so that I could fit three car seats across and then we could fit the other three older kids in the back. Yeah, that's the life of a family with six kids. So, <laughs> But yeah, we have two cars. We couldn't really function with just one. Um, number 11 is weight gain before pregnancy, during, and after, and now. Um, before my pregnancy, I think I weighed like 98 pounds. I have a super high metabolism and I have a super big appetite, but I don't really put on the weight from it. So I was like 98, maybe 100. During pregnancy, I always gain a lot, um, usually between 50 and 60 pounds. And then after pregnancy, I usually drop it pretty quick. The only time I haven't is with my youngest, my son, the two-year-old, and that was because I found out I had like thyroid issues. But once we got that under control, the weight came off pretty cool and pretty fast. Um, so I went pretty much back to pre-pregnancy weight a little, maybe 10 pounds heavier, which I'm okay with. Because it looks okay and it's good for my height. Um, number 11, dream vacation with your kiddos. Definitely Disney World. I think I put this in my most recent um, Ask Away Friday post, which you can check out on my blog. My Ask Away Friday was with Mary from Secret Obsession. But um, she asked me my dream vacation with a family, I think. And it would definitely be Disney. We've been trying to get there. It's kind of hard and expensive with six kids and two parents, but we're pushing towards it and hopefully by next summer or well actually we're trying to go into off season but hopefully 2014 will be the year dream vacation without the kiddos um we want to go back to Hawaii just as a couple to relax and chill and experience like you know the spas and the different hotels and the beach without the kiddies so I would say to go back to Hawaii or even to Puerto Rico or something like that I think that would be really fun and nice and relaxing and even a little bit more romantic Look, I can't even talk. I'm so excited about that. It might happen. Um, number 14, how has your life changed since your baby has been born? Well, I would have to say babies um, since my youngest were kind of born back to back, two, four, and six. Um, it's changed in that I'm a lot busier. One, I stopped working outside my home, so I'm home a lot. And I lost a lot of the quality time like that me and my hubby had prior to the, the younger kids. Because with the older ones, we were able to actually get some romantic nights and date nights and stuff. It's a little bit harder now. So I would say that's how it's changed. 15. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see. It makes my heart melt to see my kitties when they're getting along and they're hugging each other and smiling. And when my youngest gives his sister a kiss and says, I love you, I just adore that. And I think it's the sweetest thing ever. Number 16, where do you shop for your kids? Um, it depends on what I'm shopping for. If it's for like an event or something fancy for church, I usually go to Gymboree or Children's Place. Um, if it's just everyday stuff, it's Target or Walmart. No big major shopping secrets there. Um, number 17, favorite makeup and skincare products. I don't do makeup. <laughs> I've said that in prior vlogs, but I have recently started using the Olay. Um, I'm trying to look over to get the name of it, but it's the the refresher ones, the ones for like if you're not ready for aging products, but you're too far past like acne products. And I really like that. So that's my care products. But as far as makeup, I don't do makeup. Um, number 18, Huggies or Pampers. I've used both. But I prefer Huggies because Pampers tends to, when they get, like, if they pee a lot, you get those little jelly crystal-y things in them and they start leaking out the Pamper. And I don't really like those. So um, I usually go for Huggies. 
um, 19, have you always wanted kids? Yes, I did. I didn't think I was going to have as many as I did. And um, I definitely didn't think I would end up being a stay-at-home mom, but I don't regret any of it. And I always wanted kids. Number 20, woohoo, we made it. The best part about being a mom, the best part about being a mom for me is the joy and the laughter they bring me every day. Um, I don't think my life would be anywhere close to as happy as it is now if I weren't a mom. I get all my joy from them, their happiness, their laughter, watching them play, watching them grow up. Even when I'm down or if I'm having an off day, one of them running up to me and just giving me a random hug or a random kiss can make the whole thing worth it. So I think that'd be the best thing for me. So those were my 20 questions for Mommy Tag 1.0. Do not forget to stop by Real Housewife of Caroline County and check out the other moms who have linked up for this Mommy Tag. And while you're on YouTube, check out my other vlogs. All right. Hope you have a great day. Love you. Talk to you later. This is Mrs. T. Bye.